It's Friday. And that means it's 702 Unplugged. Yes, indeed. And uh, I'm really super excited to welcome in the studio at 23 minutes to 3 o'clock, Musa Sukwene. And of course, uh, those of you who might remember Musa, he's been around for a while already. 2013 is when you won, was it uh, the ninth season of Idols? Yeah, it was the was ninth, it ninth season. 2013. Yeah, yeah. It feels like yesterday, watching you on television and thinking to myself, wow, this guy, what, a, what an amazing voice you've got. And you bring this, uh, you know, I, 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 most of the time, I don't know your, the, the, the lyrics of your words, yeah. uh, what they actually mean. I know some of the words that I can describe and everything, but your music is so beautiful. And when you read the comments on YouTube, on your music videos, yeah. <laughs> I just love these people from, from all over the world saying that whatever it is, it's about love. It's about um, you know expressing love for people. And your, your lyrics are incredibly yes, yes. beautiful. Thank you so much, Welcome man. to 702, Musa. Thank you for having me here, man. It feels great being here. I haven't been to 702 in a while. Well, listen, uh, it's a, there's a, there's a good time to come and celebrate because you've just dropped this album yes. this new album that you've yes. just dropped which you're going to be playing a couple of tracks from but um you know your mentor and your influence has been robbie malinga all along yes. and this is the first album that you've kind of done on your ace right yeah yeah, yeah literally Why? um hey man you know i think after after the passing of Robbie, I, yeah. I actually did go out there and look yeah. for different producers, um, finding out what people could offer. And I think the truth of the matter was I sat down and I said, maybe this is the right time for me to do this thing on my own. How, how did his passing influence you? Because Robbie Malinga was a major influence in your career, right? Yeah. Well, you're a bit, well you, you must have been a bit broken when, 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 when he I passed. I was heavily, heavily, heavily broken, you know, um, because we, like, the day, the day before he passed, we had a gig the following day, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was already booked out, everything. I had to go finish that gig either or, you know, so I think, and with Robbie and I, we spent so much time sitting in, in studio, you know, working on music. If it wasn't that, we were on the road together. Uh, so after he passed on, literally... I had to just take a break of everything. I couldn't do gigs for a while because I had to think of the idea of me walking out onto yeah. a stage and having to picture him walk behind me to come share a stage with me. And that's not going to happen. So I was like, hey, let me not, you know, let me just go have a fresh start altogether. Let me find myself in a space where I'm in a studio recording new music so that I get a breath of new fresh air altogether instead of me putting myself in that place where I assume that I'll be fine. You know? But I suppose it's also, you know, it, it's part of like growing up. I mean, you've had so many firsts. So you, you've yeah. got a, you got a, you, I think your son is, you, you had your son when you were 22, right? Yes. You yes. now are yes. going to be 31 this year. Yes. And it's a young age to have a son. You yeah. Know, your son is what, eight <laughs> years old now? He's turning he, 10 this year. Actually. Is he turning 10? Yeah, now wow. in September. So what's fatherhood like? Fatherhood is great, man, you know. Um, and I think... For me, seeing him at this age now even makes it more exciting because now he becomes a person that I can share ideas with. Yeah. Being a young dad doesn't allow you to be too far off to have conversations as well, you know, yeah. because some of the things that he goes through, I can relate, yeah. you know. So we sit there, we have different conversations. Even when I was in my, doing my album, at some point he just had to be in studio because so there's cool. nowhere else to go, you know. And he would sit there and after a couple of hours he'd be like, yo, can I go play games, something, you know, because and it gets tiring for him because studio is very tiring, even yeah. for me as an adult, you know. Yeah. It, it is my job, but it gets tiring because you're doing one and the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, you know. so I mean, essentially, it's like learning about life, letting yeah. go, and and, and 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 Robbie taught you um, a lot in your career and on your journey, and then eventually you've had to let go, as is in this album, yeah. which is um, you've got 12, 12 songs on this new album that yeah. you've dropped. Um, what well, it's literally a week, hey? The album, how old is yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's been a week that the album's been out, and it's doing so well, man. Yeah. You know, um, Tell us about the album. What, what is what is the inspiration behind um, this album? Oh, behind this album, man. I think the the joy behind this album was me wanting to recreate South African music in its finest form. I call it the 10 shades of South African pop um, because within the album I feature poets as well which is so interesting. Mm. Three of the tracks on, on the album are actually just poets. Um, I worked with Spoo the Poet, I worked with Mam Telezi, who writes for Oxford. Wow. Yeah, and I worked with Puno, you know, which was so exciting, because they write different poems coming from different places. Um, and then I also worked with Tsepo Tsula, one of, one of Africa's greatest legends, you know. And then I worked with Kanyo, she was on Sarafina at some point as a part of her life. And I just brought her back, you know, so it's like, it's like a mash of... Best way to describe my album, I said earlier today, is it's my album I consider it a warm hug. 
a warm hug. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And and it's a it's a it's a new fresh uh, a new fresh Musa that's coming in from yeah. uh, from you know your previous musical career. But it's it, has it been difficult to create that because you're talking about all these different collaborations. You're talking yeah. about poets. You're talking about this. Is, has it been difficult to bring all of that and create something musically from that? How challenging was that? It was very challenging to be quite honest with you. Know trying to bring everyone to one point. Um, because firstly, Tapotula lives in Lesotho. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had to fly him down from Lesotho all the way here. Um, yo, I had quite a number of people, man. Finding Kanyo was one of the hardest things, but I finally got a hold of her. The poets, other poets, I had to fly down from Durban, you know what I mean, to get everyone here. So it was a beautiful... But I, if there's one thing I can tell you is this was probably one of the best moments of my life. Well, we can't wait to hear what you've what you've produced. Please grab that microphone, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On seven o two, it's the Unplugged on Friday. We are just so blessed to have uh, Musa Sukwene in the studio with us, uh, who's going to be dropping some of those songs of this album that was released. It's not even a week old, right? Uh, Twelve tracks. You've just got a sneak preview that uh, he features a lot of things, and you're going to get very nostalgic in this particular album. He's uh, busy getting his voice warmed up. He's busy preparing the musical instrument. We're going to get a sneak preview of Musa Sukwani's new album in just a moment. All right, we are back and uh, Musa's about to go going.
lose your heart. I'm still mad in love with you. It's the crazy things you that make me fall in love with. Even though you lose your heart, I'm still mad in love with you. It's the crazy things you do that make me fall in love with. Even though you lose your heart, I'm still mad in love with you. It's the crazy things you do that make me fall in love with. Even though you lose your heart, I'm still mad in love with you. Wow. I'm still mad in love with you. I'm still mad in love with you. Oh, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. That new album, and uh, we have got in the studio on Unplugged this Friday afternoon, Musa Sokwane talking and uh, and singing for us the most beautiful notes. Uh, some of the feedback we're getting, this album is a lot more mature, Musa. This is mature Musa coming through. And and, and the, the people that you speak about in your album, um, I love what you say in one of your interviews. You say that uh, this is this is a, a collaboration of the people in the world that uh, it's it's the established people, the established people established musicians that has influenced this album in Lela Ubuzwa Kwaba Pambili the people that have gone in front of us along this path yes yeah um, tell us say, about the song you just sang um, this song is actually a song I did on my previous album yeah um, and then for some weird reason I just realized I needed to fix this song yeah because I turned it into a house version and then as I sat alone, I was like, it can't be me. Because when I wrote the song, this is how the song sounded initially. Right. But because I was in studio and there was so much happening and I had so many songs, I was like, it's fine. I'll live with this. Let's just go. You know? Okay. And then I had to redo the song and make it right. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Yeah. What else are you going to sing for us this afternoon? Um, I'm actually going to sing for you guys a song called Ngivumele, which is my current single. Yeah. Um, Tell us about it. Um, the song, the song it, it simply means, allow me to love you the way that I know best how to. They may speak and say, I don't have, nor do I qualify for what the world or the system of the world says, but allow me to love you in the best way that I know how. Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> 702 Unplugged. Don't miss a beat. Welcome to 702 Unplugged. Tando ketamina ngetope Bashe yega njala bagwa suku kuhlekis ketamina ngetope Bashe yega njala bagwa suku kutinta laputa da corner Ngivumele Fumele, Kikala Unki, Fumele, Baby, Kikala Unki, Fumele, Unki, Fumele, Fumele, Unki, Fumele, Unki, Fumele, Unki, Fumele, Unki, Give a mele, 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 Go to Tando, 
smell the salesman of love Musa Sukwene in the studio with us man I can feel the love coming through that song and a lot of the ladies are wanting to know are you in love is Musa in love what's his status at the moment they want to know hey man I just say I'm a good guy <laughs> I hope the, that answers a lot of questions I'm a good guy alright I'm going I'm oh. to interrogate you further <laughs> after this break because we've got one more song Musa Sukwena in the studio with us his latest album and you just heard the a beautiful signal there called Inguvumele coming up next one more track 702 702 Unplugged Man, Musa, just I'm enjoying listening to the two new tracks you just dropped off your album. I mean, there's 12 tracks on the album. It's out right now. We're talking to Musa uh, in the studio with us, and uh, it's just been such a great privilege to you. And when I asked you earlier if you were in love, because the lady's asking if you're in love, you <laughs> laughed, you avoided it, because your, song, your songs are about love, man. So what is it? Are you hey, in love? Man, I find it easy to write about love. Yeah. Um, I think one of my greatest inspirations that makes it so much easier for me to write about love is I, I was privileged enough to grow up with both my parents in the house yeah. and I got to experience the joy of what love could truly be in its truest form. So I think my perspective of writing mostly comes from that. Yeah. Um, even the background, seeing my friends, seeing people around me, me experiencing love myself. Yeah. You know, um, I could probably genuinely say that's where I write from. Is Musa in love right now I'm still saying he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Listen, you, you, your range and your voice is amazing. I mean, I remember you so distinctly at, at Idols, and you know, without using any backtracks or without even using music or or, or a band behind you. Yeah. Um, when you're writing your music, you must sing out aloud to yourself quite a few times. Very in the shower, much. when you're driving in the car, to try and get that range of where you want to go with your next yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you sing when you're alone? When I'm alone. Sure. What do you like so jam on, man? Yes. I knew what you were singing. Yeah. That's great. Cool. That's what, that's, I, I'm a huge Bob McFerrin fan, unfortunately, yeah. and that's what I spend Don't a lot of time worry, on. Don't worry, be happy. Yes. It's, it's such a cool song because you get such a good range and it puts you in such a good mood. Yeah, eh? all the time. All the time. What are you looking forward to to 2018? 2018, I'm looking for such. I'm looking forward to such a beautiful year. My album just dropped. It's just me and my album. Making sure that the album is big. Um, traveling, doing multiple events. I'm gonna be going to Nigeria soon. 
I'm trying to see everything as much as I can. I just want to enjoy this album and enjoy this moment of being able to produce an album, see it come to life and have to take care of it. It's been a privilege talking to you, Musa. We wish you well on your new album. It's been such an honor being And here, your man. new journey because it's uh, without Robbie this time and I've no doubt what we've heard today. Yeah. You're going to grow from strength to strength. So congratulations and uh, be well. Have a fantastic 2018 and we hope to see you next for your next album. Thank you so much, man. There you go. That's uh, Musa Unplugged on, in the studio with us here on 702. It's been Aki Anastasiu in for Azania this afternoon.